We've got a multidisciplinary team of cell biologists, we have engineers, we have polymer chemists, we also have uh, molecular biologists uh, and we have our clinical team. And what we're trying to do is all work together to then try and solve some of these really large challenges that we face in, in medicine around trying to regenerate or replace damaged or diseased uh, tissues. What our vision is, the surgery of the future will have 3D printers either in surgery or adjacent to surgery and rather than getting a total joint replacement for your knee, we'll able, be able to take your cells, we'll be able to 3D print a solution or a new piece of uh, tissue um, or neo tissue which would be able to be implanted back uh, into that damaged, damaged region or damaged area. So what we're doing here in the lab is that we receive tissue samples from the patients. Um, we isolate the cells. It can either be chondrocytes or it can be stem cells uh, from the, the bone marrow that we extracted. We then uh, culture them in tissue culture flasks to get high, high cell numbers. And we can then use those cells and put them back into the bio inks that we developed that have instructive cues and we can 3D print them into a complex architecture that will be patient specific. Um, what we're looking here now under the microscope is some 3D printed bio inks that's being developed in our group and has some living cells in them and we will have to culture them so that they can actually mature into functional tissue that hopefully can be transplanted into the human. The really exciting innovations that we're trying to drive are really in this space around the types of materials and how we go about 3D printing. Normal 3D printing processes occur at very, very high temperatures and you can't include cells into that process. So what we need to try and do is either change the 3D printing process or we change the materials that, go, that, are, that are used. And we, we actually do both. We're very proud of our regenerative medicine study group run by Associate Professor Tim Woodfield. There is a large number of PhD students and postgraduate students involved in this. Actually, you can see from... It's certainly cutting edge technology which is recognised worldwide. I'm trying to develop these amazing technologies but it's also really, you know, it's the people these really enthusiastic and excited students and staff that we have in our department. That's the thing that really helps drive where we're moving in the future. What's exciting with the group is that it's grown substantially over the years, so now we're many more people than when I started my PhD, and it actually means that you can get a lot of responsibilities early, even as a student. I'm supervising students, you know, helping them to progress into better researchers, helping them to solve problems and seeing the growth that they have during their PhD studies is um, really rewarding. So I really enjoy working in the group because everyone in the group is really a good friend of mine. So we do a lot of things after hours. Uh, everyone is keen to go on an adventure. Everyone is supporting each other outside work as well as at work. We have this fabulous environment in Christchurch. We, um, we work hard but we also play hard. We can access mountains for mountain biking, um, amazing access to beach and surf. We can be skiing also within you know, hours of, of the local environment. So when I go to work, I actually bike through the park on my way here. So it's a beautiful sight, uh, especially when we get those sunny days. And we also have access to the botanical garden where you can go for a walk, just clear your mind a bit of science and get some inspiration. These are the young scientists who are going to deliver the answers to our uh, regenerative medicine problems in the future. I'm certain that also in terms of where, where you see the direction of medicine going and how we will see new treatments in the future will really be generated from multidisciplinary research. But what is also critical is that again, we, that multidisciplinary research has to be in this clinical setting and that's, that's the really great uh, opportunity that we have here at the University of Otago Christchurch. 